All right, first pie guy here. I'm going to show you how to hook up a uh, an RTC 1307 real time clock to a Raspberry Pi. Uh, I'll show you here the one that I am using here currently. It's called the uh, Tiny uh, RTC. So we're going to be using that. It's just one of these. That's one side of it. There's the other side with the battery. So you can get them on Amazon, eBay, uh, Adafruit, wherever. So I already went ahead and did an update upgrade to save some time. So one of the things we do need to do is turn on the uh, <clears throat> we need to turn on the I2C. So if we get in here and make sure this is enabled, then what you'll want to do is, well, you'll want to do a reboot after that. But before all that, I guess we can talk about where to hook this in. You'll need uh, four wires, uh, one for ground, one for five volts, one for... Uh, SCL and one for SDA so you can connect the 5 volts to uh, pin 4 the SDA to pin 3 the SCL to pin 5 and the uh, ground to pin 6 which is all grouped together basically they're on the GPIO pins on the uh, Raspberry Pi so once you have it connected up and uh, go ahead and enable I2C, reboot the Pi, we need to install some dependencies here to make sure things are on, which more likely they probably will be. So you won't have to do anything. So we're going to run another command here to see if we have it wired up right. Now, for example, I already went through to make sure this works, but you should see a 6-8 right there. Right here should be a number 6-8. And if you see that for the 1307 and the uh, 3231 and the 5231 RTC chips, then you should be good to go to move forward so what we need to do now is we can clear that we can get into the following file here we need to get into the uh, boot config text file then we're going to scroll the whole way down to the bottom and since we are using 1307 you'll need to add the following here at the very bottom of the file then once you're done we'll just do a control X Y and enter to save that particular file then you'll want to do another reboot so once you do another reboot and you're logged back into the Pi, then we'll rerun this command and your 68 should change to U U. And if that's the case, that's great. We can move on. So now what we need to do in order for the the uh, RTC to work right we need to remove the old fake HW clock so in order to do that we need to run the, the following commands which I have already done that it's a small file don't take very long then you'll want to update the RC So now that that's done, what we're going to do is 
we're going to nano into the following file here. And you need to find this file here, and it'll look like this, but we need to hash this stuff out to make it look like that. And once you have that looking like that, we can just go ahead and save it. So do another control X, Y, and enter. And now that that's done, we can run the following command here. Now I already ran this command here, which probably won't show all this inf information when you do it. But since I already went through this, uh, you'll just want to run this sudo hw clock space dash capital D space dash R. Then once that's done, we can just do type in date. And if the time is correct, we can run the following command. If it's not, you want to make sure you may have to go in here and update your local time, your time zone, which you could do that obviously from the beginning. Uh, I should have brought that up, but didn't think about it. So if the time is right, then we can run the following uh, HW clock command here. Now, if you need to, uh, if you need to read the time directly from the RTC module again, you can do so by running this uh, following command here with a dash R. So, then what we can do is change the R to an S to set the, the time to the pi. So, and with that, you should be good to go. So, if you uh, lose power or whatever, uh, everything now you should uh, have uh, the real-time clock so you need this at times depending on the software that you're running or if you just want to run a real-time clock to begin with uh, so I'll throw a link in the description to my website for these few commands I'll put on my page to make it a little bit easier uh, so thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for another one